We must let go of the life we have planned so as to accept the one that is waiting for us. A hero is someone who has given his or her life to something bigger than ourself. Find a place inside where there's joy and the joy will burn out the pain. Follow your bliss and the universe will open doors where there were only walls. Opportunities to find deeper powers within ourselves when life seems most challenging. The goal of life is to make your heartbeat match the beat of the universe, to match your nature with nature. The privilege of a lifetime is being who you are. Life is without meaning. You bring the meaning to it. The meaning of life is whatever you ascribe it to be. Being alive is the meaning. Participate joyfully in the sorrows of the world. We cannot cure the world of sorrows, but we can choose to live in joy. I don't believe people are looking for the meaning of life as much as they are looking for the experience of being alive. Your sacred space is where you can find yourself again and again and again. Love is a friendship set to music. What each must seek in his life never was on land or sea. It is something out of his own unique potentiality for experience something that never has been and never could have been experienced by anyone else. It is by going down into the abyss that we recover the treasures of life. Where you stumble, there lies your treasure. Computers are like Old Testament gods, lots of rules and no mercy. The big question is whether you are going to be able to say a hearty yes to your adventure. Your life is the fruit of your own doing. You have no one to blame but yourself.
God is a metaphor for that which transcends all levels of intellectual thought. It's as simple as that. Myths are public dreams. Dreams are private myths. When we quit thinking primarily about ourselves and our own self-preservation, we undergo a truly heroic transformation of consciousness. When people get married because they think it's a long time love affair, they'll be divorced very soon because all love affairs end in disappointment. But marriage, marriage is a recognition of a spiritual identity. Every religion is true, one way or another. It is true when understood metaphorically. But when it gets stuck in its own metaphors, interpreting them as facts, then you're in trouble. When you make the sacrifice in marriage, you're sacrificing not to each other, but to unity in a relationship. One way or another, we all have to find what best fosters the flowering of our humanity in this contemporary life. and dedicate ourselves to that. We're so engaged in doing things to achieve purposes of outer value that we forget the inner value. The rapture that is associated with being alive is what it's all about. I don't have to have faith. I have experience. Is the system going to flatten you out and deny you your humanity? Or are you going to be able to make use of the system to the attainment of human purposes? I think the person who takes a job in order to live, that is to say, for the money has turned themselves into a slave.